Very well, now I have uh, removed the exhaust and brackets and uh, everything and uh, this is the actual fuel burning heater. Uh, it's a Thermotop uh, V from Webasto and uh, they all pretty much look the same uh, from brand to brand. Uh, there might be some uh, different uh, connectors but uh, the burner is, itself is uh, pretty much uh, the same for, for every brand. This one is from uh, uh, Volkswagen Passat. Uh, I'm going to use this for spare parts uh, from our Land Rover, which means I can pretty much use everything here except uh, possibly the, the connectors and uh, PCB. Uh, all the hardware uh, should uh, fit, so uh, let's uh, take this sucker apart and uh, see how it looks. Uh, I start with removing the water inlet and outlet. Uh, it's a Torx, uh, one single Torx screw. And just gently lift off the pipes. Put that aside. Uh, inside here we have uh, two O-rings. Be careful with them. Uh, you're gonna need them when you re reassemble if you don't have a, a gasket kit. So we just uh, put uh, these to the side for now. Now we have to remove the black plastic. Uh, it's uh, quite easy to do. It's just uh, some latches, but it's uh, old plastic, so it might be brittle. So we just have to to hand, try to handle this uh, a bit careful. Like this, and it's one latch on the other side, and this just slides off forward. You see, there are a notch here and a hole here, recess, so you just slide this on and smack it, and uh, then it's uh, when you reassemble. Uh, there, uh, this is uh, the combustion fan. Uh, used for for uh, uh, supplying air when the burner is is uh, heating. Uh, now we're gonna try to pry this other off and see how that goes. Fudge. Almost had it there. Now we see some connectors and uh, and uh, connectors for attaching this one to the car. And these ones are internal in the uh, fuel burning heater. Uh, this white one is uh, for the glow plug. Uh, let's try to gently. Pry this off without destroying anything, which can be a challenge. Uh, this uh, was sourced from a 2007 Passat, so uh, you can just uh, uh, be sure that uh, the plastic is uh, very brittle. There it goes. Uh, this is for the glow plug. Now we can remove this uh, tiny bit of plastic here. As you see, the cable goes from the fan routed here and to this connector. So let's unplug that. This is a bit easier. It's just clamp it, clamped on both sides. Now it's loose. Just take these wires to the side and unplug it. Now we can take this wire loose all the back, all the way back to here. Now we have one connector left. 
and of course all of the connectors are different so it's a new challenge for each and every one there is a tab here so let's see if we can convince this little there it's loose now the connectors are loose here now we have to separate the burner itself it's uh, three screws one here which actually is broken and these two they are all three of them are torques so we just unscrew them like so and the next one like so and then the heater will come apart like so uh, the burner unit might uh, get stuck with the uh, age so uh, I have cheated a bit and uh, pried it loose and this is the combustion chamber uh, and the heat and the mantle for, for uh, warming the water as you can see it has some uh, carbon buildup in it uh, I will clean this out and uh, put these parts on my shelf for my Land Rover at the, when the, the fuel burning heater needs a service. Uh, this is the burner unit. Uh, you can see here at the side with the metal clip is the glow plug. Uh, you can, and you can trace that white wire back to this. Uh, it just uh, you just unhook the clip and just gently take take the uh, glow plug out if you need to. I'm not gonna do that now, but uh, the rest of this I will clean up. Uh, also, be careful with this rubber grommet or gasket because uh, if you don't have a new one, you will have to reuse this when you reassemble. So we gently gonna take that off and remember the orientation with this uh, rubber lip the rubber lip is pointing against this which is uh, uh, where the diesel enters uh, the burner so uh, it's good to remember the rubber flap points against the diesel tubing so uh, let's just uh, take this apart gently there you go and now you can use um, any kind of carbon uh, uh, cleaner, uh, brake clean, uh, actually diesel works uh, quite well to, to remove all the carbon deposits. So uh, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, I have to, as you see here, the broken bolt, I have to uh, get that out, uh, drill it out or uh, something like that, and perhaps uh, retread it with the uh, helicoil. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, this unit uh, is the fan, so uh, uh, depending on what your malfunction is with a fuel burning heater, it's uh, you know this uh, large uh, piece with uh, the PCB and the connectors is the fan. Uh, this one with the tubing or the combustion chamber and uh, water jacket. You see the exhaust uh, it comes out here and water enters and leaves the, the heating jacket here and you have the temperature sensor which shows and controls whether the fuel burning heater should run or not when uh, you are driving your car. And as you can see there are a couple of more bolts for the bra bracket from the Passat which was already broken when I got this. So I'm gonna try to remove this and uh, re-tap it and uh, put these parts on the shelf because uh, you can get uh, used fuel burning heaters for the most common brands quite cheap. And for the not so common brands they are quite expensive. So if you know that uh, Thermotop V is practically the same from car to car you can actually buy 
a cheap working one from uh, let's say uh, VW which is an abundance here in Norway and use the parts for uh, a fuel burning heater in a car that's not so common so uh, yeah now I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I'll be back when uh, everything is clean and we will uh, assemble this uh, unit again so I thought I uh, returned for just the last bit and that's about the fan uh, it's not uh, really serviceable uh, it's uh, it's a closed unit but uh, we can open it up and uh, I'll show you a bit of what's going on in there uh, it's uh, this lid is screwed on by uh, Torx T20s and uh, by the way the rest of uh, the fuel burning heater is uh, T25s uh, you can see here are the air inlet uh, the fan sucks air in through here blows it back in here for the combustion process. Uh, you can see a lot of connectors. Uh, some of them are to uh, connect the car and uh, the other three is uh, for, for the burner itself. Uh, the PCB for the control uh, sits here. Uh, you can see uh, quite easily if you remove this lid if uh, the fuel burning heater is uh, has uh, parking heater uh, capabilities or if it's uh, just for uh, uh, helping the engine keep warm. Uh, so uh, let's open this up and uh, see what we find. Now all the four screws are out and uh, this lid should uh, come up off uh, quite easily. It has a rubber gasket between aluminum and the plastic so you might have to persuade it a bit but it should come quite easily out. Here you can see the PCB. Uh, if uh, the electronics has uh, this uh, board uh, attached uh, to, the, uh, to the main uh, board which is here the fuel burning ha heater has uh, parking heater capabilities. So that means you can use this, hook it up and to a timer or a VBUS controller and use, this, use it as a uh, parking heater. Uh, you see there are some recesses in the main board. Here, here and here. And these slots into the fan motor in the aluminum housing. So uh, let's uh, look at that. Here you can see the housing. This is the fan motor. Uh, it's uh, kind of a sealed unit, so you can't do very much about it. But you can feel the axle, twist it, and, and feel if uh, there are some uh, play or bearing problems. This one feels uh, very tight, so uh, I assume this uh, unit is uh, functioning perfectly. So uh, yeah, this is uh, the fan unit, uh, so uh, now you know how to at least check it to refurb it. Uh, I guess you have to really use some violence uh, and pry off some, some covers and stuff. And uh, I can, can't guarantee that you have a functioning unit uh, when you're done with that. So uh, we'll leave it at uh, this and uh, uh, put it back together. You should however be careful when you uh, put this back because of the recesses in the PCB. If you put it back wrong you will destroy the unit so uh, be careful and you can see here that the gray bit is the rubber gasket. Make sure that the gasket is in its place before you reassemble. You just put it gently back together like this and now you can all uh, put the four screws back and you have a complete unit once again. So this concludes my little uh, disassembly of uh, the Webasto Thermotop V. So I uh, hope uh, some of you can uh, find this uh, educational and and learn to, to take them apart and it's not that difficult uh, once you get it out it's uh, quite easily serviceable uh, thanks and uh, stay tuned uh, there will be some uh, more videos along the way thank you <laughs>